Hello everyone, welcome to the China Business Legal Navigator. The topic for the discussion today is legal complexities of offshore companies in manufacturing in China. The law of offshore companies in manufacturing transactions uh, with China has long captivated foreign businesses. With its British legal heritage and the one country, two systems principle, regions like Hong Kong creates a seemingly familiar and streamlined environment for conducting business. Transactions facilitated through offshore entities, particularly in Hong Kong, are often conducted in English. With a straightforward banking system and a familiar regulatory environment, this perceived simplicity and ease have led many companies to believe that working through an offshore intermediary will streamline their processes and minimize risk. However, beneath this alert lies a web of potential legal complexities that can significantly impact business operations and legal recourse. Offshore intermediaries, especially those based in Hong Kong, offer a sense of familiarity to Western businesses. Hong Kong's legal system, rooted in British uh, common law, is stated as a global financial hub, robust banking infrastructure, and efficient regulatory framework, make it an attractive gateway for businesses looking to enter the Chinese market. The expectation is that using an offshore intermediary can simplify transactions, reduce communication barriers, and provide a buffer against the perceived complexities of dealing directly with mainline uh, mainland Chinese uh, manufacturers. While the advantages of using offshore intermediaries are evident, the legal complexities accompanying this uh, arrangement are often overlooked. One significant issue I would like to point out is the enforceability of contracts. Contracts facilitated through offshore intermediaries, particularly those in Hong Kong, are typically governed by Hong Kong law and written in English. While this might seem advantageous, uh, it introduces translation issues and jurisdictional challenges when disputes arise. Enforcing a judgment from an offshore entity in mainland China is not straightforward due to the distinct legal system uh, governing the two regions. Despite being part of China, Hong Kong operates under a separate legal system, which complicates the enforcement of legal decisions. This jurisdictional divide can lead to significant challenges in legal recourse and potentially resulting in protracted disputes and complications in resolving contractual disagreements. Mainland Chinese courts may not recognize or enforce judgment from Hong Kong courts, leaving businesses with limited options for legal uh, enforcement. The involvement of um, offshore intermediaries can introduce layered accountability, creating a risk of blame shifting between the offshore firm and the mainland manufacturer. If the offshore representative faces legal or financial problems, disrupting the manufacturer's payment, this can lead to protracted disputes and potential project holdups. Mainland Chinese manufacturers sometimes employ offshore-based representatives strategically to deceive and exploit foreign businesses. This setup often acts as a smokescreen when manufacturers use these uh, representatives to obfuscate actual business practices, deflect accountability, and complicate legal recourse. To navigate these uh, legal complexities, businesses must prioritize contacts that are tailored to Chinese law and written in Chinese. This strategy avoids translation issues in court, ensures enforceability, and something that is strengthened uh, and uh, resulting in more enforceable contact if you set the jurisdiction to China. Establishing a direct contractual relationship with the mainland manufacturer can offer better legal protection, remove ambiguities, and provide a stronger legal stance in case of disputes.
importance of direct contacts. Direct contacts with mainland manufacturers tailored to Chinese law offer better legal protection and enforceability than arrangement involving offshore intermediaries. This approach minimizes translation issues and jurisdictional challenges, providing clearer legal protection, reducing the risk associated with offshore intermediaries. And contracts are written in Chinese and governed by Chinese law. Local courts are more likely to follow, understand, and respect the contract. This can expedite the dispute resolution and increase the likelihood of favorable outcomes for foreign businesses in China. On the other hand, the court in China rarely follow judges from other jurisdictions because of differences in legal systems and law. It is also important to note that all non-Chinese contracts are translated into Chinese in court in China, resulting in poor translations and lower protection and possibility of your contracts in China. Benefits of direct contractual relationship. Establishing a direct contractual relationship with mainland manufacturers can significantly enhance a business's legal position. It eliminates the middleman, reducing the risk of miscommunication and misalignment of interests. Direct contract also ensures that the terms and conditions of the con- agreement are transparent and mutually understood. This clarity helps prevent misunderstandings and potential disputes, fostering a more stable and reliable business relationship. Thank you for listening to the uh, China Business Legal Navigator. Contact us if you need legal help in China, help with background investigation of Chinese companies, protection of patents, trademarks, and verification, uh, and drafting of contracts so that they follow the law in China, are enforceable and effective in China, uh, and so on. If you require our assistance or have further questions about our services, please do not hesitate to contact our customer relationship manager, Jan Eric Christensen at J-A-N-E-R-I-K at ncbhub.com. J-A-N E-R-I-K at ncbhub.com. You can also visit our website, ncbhub.com, ncbhub.com. We look forward to hearing from you and helping your business succeed in China by providing legal support in China.